What's up guys, it's Austin back at it again with a, another video. Today we are going to be taking a look at a little bit of gameplay replay of me and my wife um, playing a little Fortnite. Um, and today I just wanted to uh, showcase our first, uh, not our first game of chapter five, but our first really high quality game of chapter five. And I'll provide some commentary. This is a replay, so you're not going to see the full HUD unless it would be preferable for you guys to see this portion. And maybe I'll leave it up so that you can see, you know, a little thing. A lot of our, um, a lot of the things that we've been working on are that, um, that you can see on the little time bar. You can kind of see the where the kills are, where things like that is. This is going to be a little bit slower of a game. It's pretty action-packed, all things considered. But it's going to be a little bit slower of a game, all things considered, simply because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm playing with my wife, and she's relatively new at the game, but she's getting way better. Uh, she even gets a kill this game, which uh, I'm very excited for. Let me, guys, let me know if you guys would like to see it from her perspective a little bit to see some of the funny moments. Um, I think that might be pretty funny to see sometimes, uh, but you never know. Uh, but I just want to take this time to talk about Chapter 5 as a whole. I've been playing it for the last couple of days, and I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, give my thoughts on some of the things that are going on with Chapter 5. Give my thoughts on sort of where the game stands in terms of its gameplay moving forward and, and how some of these changes are affecting the game as a whole. Uh, in it from a uh movement perspective all the way into how these new guns feel and i just want to talk about that so let's start with the movement actually because the movement is a great place to start i read this post from the development team where they're talking about how they slowed down the overall sprint and running speed but actually increased the um how fast you regenerate that sprint and i actually think that's not a terrible idea all things considered it feels very different i will um i will say that but the balance and the caveat with that is you have so much additional movement when doing things like regenerating health regenerating shields the way that shield pots and health kits work in this game now are completely different in a such so much superior way than they were before and the way that you know when you're able to sit there and go through the storm for instance and normally the storm is ticking by just constantly taking out your health well if you use a med kit the med kit is healing you the entire time you're walking through this storm and you're able to continue to, you know, move away from it, move through the storm, even though. And it's just really, really good. As far as the overall gameplay and like the map and things like that, I think the AI and the bosses are okay. I don't necessarily think that they are you know, game breaking or game changing in a lot of ways. We've had bosses before, but largely I think that the bosses add a little bit for the higher end players, but really I tend to avoid the bosses right now because they are, they're almost worse than Tilted Towers in terms of the amount of people going towards them some games. And so it's not very beneficial for me to sit there and go for bosses because I'm not that good of a player. Um, that being said, every now and then I will land somewhere where one is. And in those situations, if there's no one there or if I walk up to it and they're still there and there seems to be no one around, that's when I'll kind of uh, go for the bosses. The, the medallions actually are pretty interesting because the medallions regenerate your shield the more medallions that you have over the course of the game. With the caveat of you show up on the map as a radius for different characters. Uh, right here, my wife took some took some damage, and so I was trying to get her to uh, take that shield pot that we left downstairs. And so we're kind of working through with that. Um, but yeah, so the guns, the way that the guns work, and, and maybe that's a great uh, sort of segue into this, is the the new weapon attachment system 
is so, so unique and good for Fortnite. Not unique for other games, but new to Fortnite. And it changes the way that you play the game. Truly, it does. Being able to aim down sights with an AR and go into first person really changes the way that accuracy works and things like that. I have gotten melted and melted more people this season than any other season before and i think the reason for that is 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 when you add on that red dot site i think it's affecting bloom in some way i think somehow the bloom is either reduced to a very very minimal amount or or the bloom is completely removed um, and if that is the case, then that makes this a very, very pow powerful change because, you know, historically in Fortnite, Bloom has been the killer, especially recently with all of the new surfacings around Bloom and what's going on with Bloom. Lots of memes going around in the Fortnite community about Bloom. And so I think that if that's what happened and they just removed Bloom silently, as if nothing happened. That is a completely different game. I was watching Tim the Tap Man the other day, and he was saying that it feels almost like PUBG. Right here, I was trying to point out where the uh, zip lines were for Laney. That's why I, I did that there, so I was pinging it for her. Sadly, I didn't record this live, and so you can't get our commentary. From now on, what I'll do when we play is I'll just go in and record. Um, I'll record our gameplay. Um, with our commentary and even if I don't use it I'll still that way I'll have it and not have to do these replays because to be honest it, it just looks a lot better and it's a lot more entertaining that way but I just did want to show this because this was a very ga good game and afterwards at the end of it uh, Laney was like can we play again it was already 11 o'clock uh, almost 11 o'clock when we did that and so we, we had to go to bed because we had to work uh, the next day but man it's just when 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 you have somebody who's a non-gamer getting onto the game and really enjoying it and being able to enjoy it, I think that's a very big tell about the quality of this new chapter. Um, the way that it feels, the way that it's satisfying to, to do. Um, I do believe they still have bots in the game as far as bot players, especially in these lobbies. Either that or they're people who have no thumbs whatsoever. Which is fine because people like um um you know when you're a new player like my wife is who's played uh maybe now a little over 10 games total when you're in that place in your uh fortnite career it's kind of very difficult to sit there and um and learn a game when you get melted by someone who has been no lifing this game since 2017 right um, it's very difficult to to do that. Um, that being said, the points of interest this this time around are very interesting. There's a lot of snow and mountains, lots of snow and mountains. So if you don't like the snow and mountain areas of previous ones, you're probably not going to like this one. I actually really like those areas. And so, you know, right now, half of the map is snow and mountains so right here we heard a lot of commotion sadly like i said you can't see visual indicators because it's a replay but we heard a lot of commotion over here and so we were trying to go over here to see what's going on i told laney i said i'm about to go pick a fight just sort of follow if you can and she's a little bit behind uh back there she loved using the shotgun no matter what i had to explain to her that the shotgun you have to be a little closer to him so this, uh, this sniper actually had no scope on it. As you can see, it's just iron sights. And so I was kind of struggling at first to really adjust to the fact that it is not ADS like all of the other ones are. Um, so it's a little bit more challenging. But eventually, you know, we, we got him. I had to reload there. But yeah, the game, the game feels incredible to be just completely honest. Now I switch to the good gun. Oh, he's running away. But yeah, so that's where I just tell Laney. In, in a minute here, Laney will be like, um, how do I fish? And so I'll let her go fishing while I go hunting other things, other people. She'll go fishing, I'll go hunting. 
I think that there's got to be some way to balance because sometimes we get into a game like the game before this we got into a game and we were sitting there waiting on the train and there was a squad on the train sitting there waiting for us and they absolutely murdered us in like a couple of seconds and so it's not all bot lobbies in this one um but i'm pretty sure because laney just created her account like a couple weeks ago we do have very um low level players and so i'm kind of carrying her through to kind of show her the ropes and and teach her how a lot of this works which is very fun to be honest like i said i want to have our commentary uh in the next one so that you guys can see sort of all the things that we're going through um as far as the battle pass and the skins and everything go, I think this is one of the best battle passes they've had in a long, long time. Almost every single skin is incredible. Um, there are a couple ones that I'm less interested in, but overall, I think that's just, I think that's just par for the course at this point. I think the Peter Griffin skin is super nice and super fun. It's a little fun collaboration. It's just overall a very good uh, good season one for this chapter. See, I'm watching her fish right now. I'm telling her how to... She's doing so good with the fish. Actually, I think right now I'm yelling at her. I was telling her... At first, I said, go back there and, and use the, uh, um, the slurp juice stations buckets. And then I was like, oh, wait, the storm's coming. Run to me right now. Run straight here. Please run now. And so when she got into the circle, I told her come over here to these slurp juices right around the corner and you'll see them in a minute uh these slurp oh she went the wrong way she's still trying to figure out that she can see me through walls and and find her way to me i've been trying to show her uh where those things are but she's doing great like she's actually doing really well for someone who has never played like a shooter game at all and that's really exciting so i was showing her the slurp juice canisters uh, for her to break open. I was worried she was going to use a cluster bomb right there because she kept pulling it out and then we were just both going to be dead. And I was I was really worried about that. But she didn't. She got it right, uh, which is great. And so here where we're going is we're trying to go into the last little bit. Uh, we only have a couple minutes left of the gameplay and it's it's going to be one of those things where it's a very, very um, sort of action packed ending, I guess you could say, especially when you realize this is the part that I told uh, uh, I told you guys or alluded to earlier where Lainey really likes the shotgun, even in places where she should use the sniper. And it was funny. I told her, I was like, you know, you're using a shotgun, right? And I switched over to her POV and she switched to a different shotgun. She had a pump and the auto. And so she switched to the pump instead of the auto, um, uh, which was, which was pretty funny. If this was the old Fortnite where the pumps had infinite range, then she would have been beaming people from across the map. There's no doubt. But yeah, this is this was a very very fun uh, sort of gameplay that you're you're seeing here. Uh, the 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 fun part I like I just like uh, you know having somebody to uh, to share that time with and play with. I was teacher. Ooh. I'm yawning because it's early in the morning before work. I was teaching her that we need to rotate around this direction because the biggest part here is that we're on the slow side of the storm so we have more time to get in and i'm about to push into this this area where there's a ton of people but i think they're all ai i think these are all the um ai people but i'm making a lot of noise and i was not intending to but it was worth it because i got one of those and I'm not sure where all that noise was coming from, but it is what it is. But yeah, we're almost in. We're in the top. Uh, we're almost in the top ten groups here. I told Lainey she was getting shot at from somewhere, probably on top of the uh, 
on top of the tower. And so some of these things, I think it, it, it that wall was maybe broken down and so you couldn't see uh, that in the replay. There's just a lot of odd things going on with the replays. Uh-oh. I was sitting there telling Laney, I was like, hey, there's somebody behind you. Oops, bumped the microphone there. And now we go into the top 10. We have eight players left. We know where most of them are. We know there's a team, at least one team, on top of the mountain. And I told Laney, I said, this is the time where we need to just get up high somewhere on the high ground and let them fight over um, each other. So we knew there were two on top of the on top of the island. They're still shooting at us on top of the island. So I told her, I said, get over here behind this rock. Uh, we need to get away from that island. And they're not shooting at her for some reason. I don't know if they're, I don't know what's going on. So I see this guy, those two over there. So I just start taking pop shots at him. I miss most every shot here, I think. But the good thing is these guys are going to eventually pick a fight with those people over there. Just wait for you hear the shotgun in a minute. Laney's going to start shooting the shotgun and it's going to be funny. There it is. And I was like, Laney, you know you're using a shotgun, right? <laughs> oh, what a shot. But it wasn't enough to kill, sadly. So now we have lost uh, two teams. The two on the island have popped off and have, are, are down there now. So now, the two other teams other than us are down there fighting. I realized this. And so I said, Lainey, I'm about to go, I'm about to go push them. And she was like, is that a smart idea? And I was like, absolutely not. Um, but I'm greedy and I want the, I want the kills. Especially there, I see two knocked. And since they didn't die, I knew it was one from each team is knocked right there, which means the last two are fighting each other, which means I need to push now to clean up. And so as you can see here, knocked one. This one's got a shield. I'm trying to break the shield. So I reload. He pushes me, takes out the shield and a victory royale. It's our first victory royale of chapter two, and what a time it was, guys. It was a an absolute blast. So if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like on the video. Let me know what you'd like to see down in the comments section below. As always, peace out.